Have you ever walked into someone's home or looked around your own home and said, that art doesn't necessarily fit in that space? Sometimes you'll walk in and there'll be a little tiny piece of art on a gigantic wall. Well, what are some guides that'll help you hang art in your home or if you're staging a property to make it more scalable? You're gonna need a tape measure. I like these little wall hooks, not just a regular nail, but it helps catch the back of the frame or the teeth on the back of a frame. Obviously your hammer. And then you have all of these fun little 3M strip type things for posters or for hanging art. And we'll talk about these in a little bit. I measured the wall, we tried to center the furniture on the wall, and then we're gonna to try to center the art above the furniture. And when you're hanging art above furniture, you wanna use the guide of about 12 inches above the piece of furniture. So whether it's a um, buffet or a dresser or a TV stand, you wanna make sure that you are centering your art and making it about 12 inches above. The other tip to use is to make sure it's at least five feet high so I'm taking, instead of one giant piece of art today, I'm gonna to use two pieces of art and kind of add them together to create the one piece of art. So there's a theme. I like beachy colors. I like blues and greens. It gives you a nice ocean feel. And they're also, um, you can do a little bit of contrast as you see here with the lighter green paint and the darker navy um, art. But again, it kind of keeps with, with a beach vibe. Um, not a lot of reds and blacks and whites. So again, if you look at the art, you can perfect how straight it is later. But if you use the tape measure, it's about 11 and a half inches. So it's right about the right height above the furniture and placed squarely within the space. The other fraction to think about is two thirds. You wanna fill up about two thirds of the space on your wall. If you don't have one large piece or two medium sized pieces, you can also create a gallery wall with a lot of individual pieces. But again, remember to keep things center and remember that about the two-thirds rule. One tip I have if you live in a home that tends to have high humidity or salt air is not to use these 3M Velcro strips because you will see that in the middle of the night, the sticky tape on the back, you will hear this crash in the middle of the night. So I made that mistake. Um, I didn't know, but I wanna pass on that tip to you that the 3M strips are great in some circumstances, but again, if you have high humidity, you don't necessarily want to use these strips. If you have any questions about hanging art, feel free to call me or a friend who's really artsy or a stager, um, and they can help you with your proportion on your walls. Thanks for watching. This is Jill Ward with Century 21 Island Homes.